All right, uh, let's look at the homework 2.1, uh, problem number two. All right, so we want to uh, check that uh, y1 and y2 are the solutions of this given differential equation. All right, so let's do that first. All right, so, uh, so y1 is equal to 1, right? So which means that uh, y1 prime is going to be 0. And also y1 double prime is going to be equal to zero, All right? So let's start with the uh, uh, left-hand side. So let's left-hand side of the differential equation is going to be uh, y1 times y1 double prime plus uh, y1 prime squared, All right? Let's plug everything in. All right, y1 is one times y1 double prime is 0 plus y1 prime is 0 and we have to square that still going to be 0 and you can see that everything is 0 so this is 0 which is the um, right hand side all right so this verifies that uh, y1 is a solution of the differential equation all right so let's look at the y2 all right, so y2 is a uh, square root of x, all right? So we can write it as x to the uh, one-half power, all right? And then the derivative, uh, y2 prime, is going to be uh, one-half in front, x subtract one from the power, so it's negative one-half, all right? And then uh, second derivative of y2 would be I would put another one half, so uh, one half times negative one half, negative one quarter x to the, and subtract one from the power, so negative three halves. All right, let's start with the left hand side. So, left hand side is uh, we're going to have y2 times y2 double prime plus uh, y2 prime squared, all right? So let's plug everything in, all right? So y2 is square root, so x to the one-half power. And y2 double prime would be uh, negative one-quarter x to the negative three-halves power, all right? Plus... All right, uh, uh, first derivative, uh, y2 prime is 1 half uh, x to the negative 1 half. Then you have to square that. All right, then what you're going to get is going to be, let's see, uh, this is going to be equal to, all right, so there's going to be, co uh, constant is negative 1 quarter there. So if you combine x to the one half power and x to the negative three halves power, so one half uh, minus three halves, so it's going to be x to the negative one power, right? Then here, uh, one half squared would be positive one quarter, and x to the negative one half raised to the second power would be negative one half times two is negative one, so x to the negative one. So they cancel out, you get zero, all right? Again, which is the right, right hand side that we wanted. All right, so this verifies that uh, y2 um, is the solution, all right? So let's uh, look at the, the sum of these two solutions, all right? So if it was a linear, a homogeneous linear equation, any linear combination of the two solution would be a solution. But in this case, uh, because of the, uh, this guy right here, actually also that guy here, right, this is not a linear equation. So uh, the, the you know, result uh, does not apply here. All right, so let's double check here. All right, so we have, uh, so we have a y is just a sum of these two. So it's gonna be a one plus uh, square root of x. I'm going to just write it as 1 to the 1 half power. All right, first derivative is going to be just a sum of the derivatives. So it's going to be 0 plus 
uh, 1 half x to the negative 1 half power. All right, and the second derivative is again the sum of the second derivative, so it's going to be negative 1 a quarter x to the negative 3 halves power. All right, so let's double check. Uh, so let's start with the left hand side. All right, so left hand side is a y times y double prime plus y prime squared. All right. So I'm going to uh, put everything in, All right? So you have uh, a 1 plus x to the uh, 1 half power times y double prime is uh, negative 1 quarter x to the negative 3 halves power, All right? Then we want to add uh, 1 half uh, x to the negative 1 half power squared. All right, then this is going to be, uh, so I'm going to actually go down here. All right, so I'm going to just uh, distribute um, this guy to uh, both terms. All right, so you're going to get the negative 1 over 4 uh, x to the negative 3 halves power and the minus uh, 1 over 4 x to the, we actually did this computation before, it's going to be negative 1 power, all right? Plus, you have uh, 1 half square is positive 1 quarter, x to the negative 1 half square would be x to the negative 1, all right? Uh, just like the previous computation, we know that uh, these two terms cancel out because you have the same thing with different sign, but as you can see that the what's left is uh, negative one quarter x to the negative three halves power, which is not quite the same thing as zero. So, which means that uh, it's it's not equal to. Uh, so, it's not equal to the uh, right hand side. Right. So therefore, so this tells you that. Uh, so therefore, y is equal to y one plus y2 is not a solution. All right, uh, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.